one common approach to teaching mathematics. I'm going to show you the methods, you're going to accept and use them, position students as passive observers of math. Kids can also get fixated on right and wrong answers. All of that can wreak havoc on a student's math identity, especially kids from historically marginalized backgrounds. Over time, it discourages many from pursuing math any further. To disrupt math practices that lead to math anxiety, we need to rethink the way we teach the subject. Many students tend to put themselves in boxes, identifying as either non-math people or math people. But breaking away from this mindset can help teachers and students avoid making math class a source of stress and anxiety. To help kids see diverse role models in math, share stories about women and people of color in the field, as well as those who have struggled and persevered before they became successful. Or talk about mathematicians who work in different branches like data science or virtual reality to help students better grasp the many applications of the discipline. Kids are naturally drawn to explore the math around them, and research shows that connecting subjects to real-world outcomes motivates students to become more invested in their studies and perform better academically. Try linking complex ideas like fractions to rhythmic patterns or the lengths of musical notes, or have students investigate a social problem in the community, asking them to identify relevant statistics or geometric relationships. In vibrant math classrooms, teachers often show different ways to solve the same problem and encourage students to come up with their own solutions. The more strategies students are exposed to, the more deeply they understand the concepts. To develop students' critical thinking, encourage them to brainstorm alternative solutions, then discuss the various options as a class. And to take the sting out of wrong answers, consider letting students resubmit at least some of their work. When students struggle to solve complex problems, they realize that studying math involves making mistakes and a challenge to apply their learning in new ways. Create low floor, high ceiling problem solvers, which allow students of various learning levels to master their skills without feeling either overwhelmed or unchallenged. Finally, encourage students to talk about their strategies before tackling a tough problem. Hearing about how others are also struggling can provide relief for those who internalize the discomfort.